0.16 array mystery 2 or array list mystery 2 what we're going to do is look at some code and we're going to determine the outcome for it now this is super important when you're like reading someone else's code when you're thinking about code in your mind before you put it down on the keyboard so let's get into it i'm going to tell you uh, how this code works we're going to do the first one together and then you can do the next two yourself and let's get into it so public static void mystery 2 we are passed in a parameter of an array list with type integer. The array list name is list. We are returning void, so nothing. Our name is mystery2. So we have this for loop right here, and after the for loop, we're gonna print out our list, and that's gonna go right here. That's going to be the output. So in the for loop, in i is equal to list.size minus one. And this is going to grab the last index of our array list, because remember, index is one less than size. We're running this as long as i is greater than or equal to zero, and we decrement i every single time so that we get to the index zero. Now, in this if else right here, what we're going to be doing is checking the index. If the index value, modulus two, so divided by two, has a remainder of zero, we are going to do this add method where we add to our array list, so we're adding to the back of our array list, the element at the current index we are looking at. Otherwise, we are going to use the same add method. However, we're passing in our specific index, and here it's zero, and we are putting this element in. So let's do the first one here. We're starting off with three for our size, subtract one, that's two. So i is equal to two. i modulus two equals zero. This is true. So we are going to add to the back our index two, which would be 30. Let's code this out right now. So currently, this is what it looks like. Not code, but write it out. Um, and then we're going to add the last index. So we're going to have another 30. Let's go through this for loop again. Now we're looking at the first index, so 20. Well, we know 1 modulus 2 is going to give us a remainder. So we're going to fall into this else statement. So what we need to do is add to the 0th index this 20. And now we look at the 0th index. Now our 0th index, it's not 10 anymore, right? It's updated to 20. Remember that. Whenever you do code like this, and you are changing the index um, elements, you're gonna want to make sure you are looking at the updated elements, the updated list, otherwise it could mess you up severely. So our current element at index zero is this 20. And since it's this 20, when we go down here, notice if zero modulus two, Think of it as zero divided by two. If you're confused, zero divided by two is gonna give you a zero. So we're gonna to add to the back of it our 20. And that is how that is going to look. And since that one was pretty simple, let's actually do the next one together. So we have eight, two, nine, seven, and four. So we start off the last index, this is four. We know we have zero, one, two, three, four. So i is equal to four. So we're gonna to add to the back of it our current element which is 4 so we're adding 4 like this now we decrement 1 so we're going to be looking at 3 0 1 2 3 3 is a 7 right here well 3 if we do this we're going to fall into this else statement so we have to add to the front our 7 now we're looking at the second index so we have 0 with index first index second index so now we're looking at 2 inside of this 2 um, we know since we're looking at the second index, we're going to be in this if statement. So we're going to add to the back a two. We're looking at the first in uh, index now. So we know we're going to be in this else statement. We'll add to the front an eight. Zero with index is going to be this eight. So since it's zero, we're going to be in this if statement. We'll add to the back of it. So that should be eight. So what we should have here is eight, seven, eight, two, nine, seven, four, four, two, eight. Now try the last one yourself. It's pretty big. Well, it's not that much bigger. I'll give you the answer for it though. It's this. Really try it yourself though. Make sure you understand it. That's passing three out of three tests. And that's how we would do this self-check 10.16 array list mystery two.